out here doing some night riding on my CDR 1000 double R. But hey guys, wouldn't you love to see a hybrid motorcycle? Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. You see all these, you know, these uh, electric motorcycles they're doing. Not all of these, but you know, you have Zero that made some electric motorcycles, and now Yamaha's doing some electric motorcycles, which, in my opinion, is not really the only benefit I see to the electric motorcycle is maybe for a motocross. You run around the track, run out of power, swap in some new batteries, get back riding, low maintenance. Um, you know more more riding than wrenching I see an advantage there but on the street I don't really see an advantage because you run I mean you only can get with the zero motorcycles I think you can only get like 60 uh, 60 miles you know riding some highway in city I think with city you can get up to like 90 miles you know probably just doing some some slow cruising but I mean, you can't just go to a gas station and charge up, you know, like you can with a, you know, regular gas motorcycle. You can just pour gas in a few minutes and you're good to go. Um, like I said, if they came out with the infrastructure, you know, a network, you know, where they colluded with all the uh, gas stations and put a network out there where they, you can swap out batteries, then I can see a benefit to it. You know, otherwise... It's it's only good for maybe commuting to your job, but then I got to thinking. I'm like, why don't they just come out with a hybrid motorcycle? That would be absolutely awesome. Actually, there is a concept out there made uh, a Russian bike that's a uh, hybrid, and it has uh, it has electric motor on the back, and it also has uh, works in tandem with the engine. You know, a hybrid. So you're cruising around, the electric motor will go. And then when you're doing, uh, you know, high speeds or whatever, the regular motor will kick in. Meanwhile, charging the batteries. So, and that way you can ride for a long distance without stopping for gas. That would be absolutely sick. I say if you could pull out like freaking like 500 plus miles out of a tank of gas on a motorcycle, that would be absolutely sick, man. Be able to travel, almost travel coast to coast. <laughs> Without filling up, that would be sick. I can, that would, in my opinion, that would be more beneficial to make a hybrid bike than these electric motorcycles. I don't know, what do you guys think? But you don't see nobody out there is making the, uh, a hybrid bike. You don't hear anybody talking about building one. And the, some of the most, you know, the mo one of the most popular cars is the uh, hybrid car. The, uh, what is it called? The, the Honda, whatever. I forgot what they call them. Prius, hybrid Prius. They're like super, super duper popular, man. Because you can go forever in those cars without filling up. And to be able to do that on a motorcycle, especially if you're the type of person you like, you're the touring type of guy that likes to travel long distances, you know, across the country. That would be sick to be able to just do a couple of stops all the way across the United States. That would be sick. Because I tell you, it can be kind of irritating when you're in rural areas and it's hard to come across gas stations. And we got a copper right there, baby. Uh, copper. No. Uh, but, I don't know. Give me you guys. What do you guys think? Hybrid motorcycle. Would you get one? Or what? I think it would be sick. You know, it would be really sick. It would be awesome to have a hybrid like lightweight adventure bike if, imagine if like the wr250r it was it was like a hybrid wr250r where you, at low speeds like you're in the trails just doing low speeds and it's just using the electric motor and then when you get in the highway or you go on the fire roads and you're cranking up the speed then the engine kicks in and imagine be able to go a super long distance be able to five six seven hundred miles on the bike you know, without having to get gas. That would be sick. I don't know, they could do it. They could do it. 
but is there a market for it? I believe so. I'd buy one if there was a hybrid WR250R or lightweight adventure bike. That would be sick. Do the, the Trans-American Trail on one of those. You don't have to worry about gas. And uh, I don't know. I'm just dreaming, I guess, guys. <laughs> Share your thoughts on the, uh, what do you think? But anyways, if you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, My Videos. All my videos are categorized in various playlists. And hopefully you can find something that will inform you, entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your friends. Appreciate all you guys. Subscribe to my All The One Motorcycle channel. So until next time. Hey, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel that features the original Bug Out Moto van that is designed and built by yours truly so that I can live in my van with my motorcycle. So hey, check me out at YouTube.com forward slash Bug Out Moto. Subscribe today.